I like Scarlet. I like Scarlet. Some would say I am the smartest. Bringing to you the most important news. The things that you care about. And the things that are fun. The travels and adventures. The stories and songs. From here and from there. From the furthest side of everywhere. If she knows how to listen. And she knows how to hop. Your fearless reporter with the ears that flaw. Right here on Rabbit Ears News. The Weekly Carrot. We'll return after these messages. Hey, Dave. I guess it's breakfast time, isn't it? Yeah, it's a uh, pun funny. It is actually breakfast time. I have decided that we will um, we will be eating the waffles today. I love waffles. Here is something. It is a very secret sort of thing. I have decided that we will let the waffle company use our likeness to sell the waffles. Dave. Why have you finally decided to to sell out and let, let, let the waffle company use our faces to sell waffles? Well, fun, fun, let me tell you the truth. I will tell you why we sell the waffles and why it is okay. Hey, I know you've been waffling on the matter. My, my soul is at ease with my decision. I would love to know. Okay, fun, fun, here is the deal. They gave me... A truckload of money. That is the truth, and there's no other real explanation. Well, you know what they say, Dave. You can be rich, but you can never be as rich as a garbage man. Uh, what do you mean you can never be as rich as a garbage man, Pun Pun? Because they're filthy rich. Oh, Pun Pun. Everybody go buy our waffles, or I'll be sad. Bye, boys. Bye. Welcome back to Rabbit Ears News, the what? weekly carrot and a question. And a question? <laughs> oh, are you okay? Don't get scared. It's okay. That was pretty scary. <laughs> How up. does that question get under their magic? It scares me every time. It's magic. It's magic. Mm. Fair enough. Well, what does the question say today? Well, who's, it, who's it from? It's from Scarlet! Scarlet? Scarlet. Yeah. I like Scarlet. I like Scarlet. Too. I like yeah, Scarlet. I like 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 the, the, the red color Scarlet as well. Yes. Okay, anyways, what's Scarlet's what, question? What's Scar I'm sorry. Scarlet's question is, what if there was no moon? <gasps> Sarah. <laughs> I don't know. What would happen to Ben and Sarah? They would just be Ben and Sarah. That would be scary. Ben and Sarah. But if there really was no moon, like the big old rock in the sky that uh, we landed on, then um, you know how the ocean, how there's waves and how they like move? They wouldn't move like that. Yeah, that's true. Because it's the, the moon's, it's gravitational pull that actually makes the um, the ocean move like that. So if there wasn't a moon, then the ocean would just be like flat stone. And that would be really weird and really That scary. would be weird and scary. There'd be no rock pools. That would be really scary. Yeah, no rock pools. And we would have like such lowered biodiversity because when the tide goes out, lots of different animals can live there. So yeah. it would really suck for so many reasons. Yeah, yay for moon. Woohoo! Woo and Ben and Sarah Moon too. Yay yeah. for the moon! Alright, what do we got coming up? Coming up next, we have Entertainment News with Dino Jubilee. I know those guys. I they're, love those guys. They're the greatest. They're the best. They're greatest. Greatest. i 
Chicago, Illinois. We are having a beautiful time here on our road trip and uh, this, may I introduce to you, Pan Pan, is the Gemini Giant. Wow, he's huge! Yeah, he's uh, like uh, 24 feet tall. He's an astronaut, he's beautiful. Uh, this guy, John Horlek, he paid $30,500 to have him built. Um, and stood outside his restaurant on Route 66 for since 1965. Wow, that's a lot of history you just threw at me there, Dave. Yes, well, I am a history aficionado. I am, uh, some would say I am the smartest of all the, the fish men, fish people. 
Well, I think you're really smart, and I think this astronaut is really cool. Yes, I believe so too. Uh, I, I think he's nice. He's a very nice looking man. Well, Dave, where would an astronaut park his spaceship? Huh, where would an astronaut park his spaceship? I don't know, Pun Pun. Why don't you tell me where an astronaut would park his spaceship? He would park it at a parking meteor. Yes, but quick before we go, oh. I have a very fun random fact for you guys today. It better be fun. Are you ready? I'm ready. Baby porcupines are known as porcupets. That's adorable. Woo! See you later, everybody. Bye. Bye.